Hello, welcome back to Deconstructing with Dawn. I wanted to share with you guys my Target Beauty Box and my Ipsy bag. However, my Ipsy bag is not here yet, so I'm gonna combine these two videos once it does arrive. I did a couple of add-ons for the first time ever, so I think that's why the bag is delayed. So, this, however, is a Target Beauty Box. I ordered it um, Monday, Labor Day, and I got it on this Monday, so one week later, always fantastic shipping. Um, $7.48 is what I paid for it, including tax. The box itself is seven, so if you don't have tax in your state, you don't pay that, you just pay flat out seven. Um, I, I opened, took the plastic off, but I haven't opened it yet, but I know I think there's a razor in here, and I wanted the razor because I, we're gonna be traveling next month to Europe, so I wanted to have a razor and not have to buy one. So that's all I can remember that's in here. <laughs> um, okay, so the theme or what have you is glow into fall. Oh, and the box is so cute. It's not dented up or anything either, which is fantastic. It came inside of a brown box again, um, plastic wrapped around there and it is a fall kind of um, box, really pretty. I'll definitely be keeping this. Um, okay, so first off, it has a description of what's in there, and as always, that $3 off $15 beauty products um, coupon that you can use. Um, and this is also a, an idea of when the next boxes will come. This says through 10-5, so the Monday closest to 10-5 is when the next boxes will come out. And they're normally $7, very rarely are they 10, and very rarely do you have two options. Um, I don't, okay. <laughs> Uh-oh, yeah, excuse me. Okay, well the first thing here is a Dove, I've used this before, um, dry serum. It's like this little stuff in here and it's like um, kind of a baby powder-ish cream and you rub it on your armpits and that's like what people are trying to do now for, for deodorants. So um, I don't have any aversion to it, I just have an allergy to most um, deodorants. I can only use Degree and um, that new charcoal stuff, I can use that. Um, I didn't have a problem to this, but you can only use like maybe two uses out of it as far as I can remember. So I didn't develop a problem with it. So I don't know. I'm, I probably will never switch to something like that. I'm trying to not use antiperspirants, only deodorants, and that did not work out. I went with that Tom stuff and it was okay for the first two weeks or so, and then I developed a major rash to it. So um, anyway, I never use these. I don't have long enough nails to, to file down, but I don't remember them being in there either. So trim salon boards, nail care. I'll probably put that in a giveaway at some point. Um, a Miss Spa Hydrate Facial Sheet Mask. It's really thick mask. Can't say I'll use that either. Probably go in a giveaway. Um, oh, again, with these things. I mean, we are traveling. I guess it'd be okay for one night. Um, but a shampoo conditioner by Tresemme. Botanique, Botanique Color Vibrance and Shine with Pomegranate Oil and Camellia Oil. Mm, not a fan. But this is what I actually, oh my god, it's huge. Uh, this is what I knew it was coming and purposely bought it because of this. Chic Intuition Trial Pack, one razor, one cartridge. Why is it such a big, fat thing? Um, okay. Oh. You lather and shave in one step. Okay, so you attach the cartridge, add water, and shave. So that's interesting, it's all together. Well, that's not gonna be good to carry around in the suitcase. So that was stupid, I should have looked into this more. <laughs> I can't use this traveling. Um, okay, well it says no need for shave gel. I don't use shave gel anyway, I just use soap. So uh, I'll, I'll use this, but I'll have to use it at home. It's not, I, I thought it was just a normal razor. So that sucks, I'll have to get a razor anyway for traveling. Um, anyway, so that is my Target Beauty Box. Um, I know for a fact my Ipsy will be better because three of the items I selected myself <laughs> for the add-on, so um, I'm looking forward to using them. So I will add that Ipsy to this Target Beauty Box video as soon as the Ipsy bag came. It just shipped. God forbid it gets stuck in Compton again, and hopefully it'll be here, you know, within the next few days. And then I'll do that and combine these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Hello, welcome back to Deconstructing with Dawn. This is the part two of my video. A couple days ago, I filmed the Target Beauty Box, and I received my Ipsy bag today. Um, I can tell you right away, I know what one of the items is because this thing smells like nail polish so bad. <laughs> And um, it's kind of opened a little bit, so I hope that it's not broken in there, but we'll see in a second. And I know of two other items, um, because I, for the first time ever, did the add-ons. Add-ons are where you can get full-size items for $12, I believe, 
um, and deluxe samples for $3. And so I think I got three add-ons. And it was the first time I've ever done that. My daughter um, gets them every single time. She gets like every one that she possibly can. So um, anyway, I know that, I know what a couple of the items in here and I can smell nail polish. So, and I've asked them not to send me any more nail polish. Um, well, it looks like it's jam-packed of stuff. So let's see. Okay, so I think the add add-ons are the first things that are like loose in the back or loose yeah okay so this i knew i was getting i ordered this this is the smashbox studio skin 24 hour wear hydrating foundation the reason why i got this one in the color uh, 105 which i think was light um was because i know they were sending me the same thing but in like neutral and um, it looked dark so I thought this is a little too light that's a little too dark I'm gonna mix them together and I should have my color that might match me so that's why I ordered this one this was three dollars and I know in my bag there's going to be another one um, and then I also ordered this which is bye bye redness skin relief treatment moisturizer by it um, and the reason why I went with this is because I have lupus and I get these really bad red butterfly rashes and so I'm hoping um, the first time I tried the it um, moisturizer my I broke out really bad but then the second time in that wonderful box I had received as a surprise from someone um, I had gotten a, a, a good size of that and I never broke out with that so I'm hoping that I'm gonna have the same um, experience with this that 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 those two first two were the exact same stuff so I'm not sure why I broke out with it the first time but I didn't with the second time but this looks like it has like that um, green color to it to reduce the redness in your face. So I'm looking forward to trying that and I paid $3 for that. And then I've never heard of this one. It's by Too Faced, right? Yeah, Too Faced. And it says, damn girl, um, mascara. So um, I'm not gonna open the mascara. It's up because I have like 15 of them that I'm trying to get through right now. But um, it's such a pretty packaging. Look at that, oh. This is better than the Too Faced packaging. That is so pretty. And the reason why I thought this was funny is because when I was a kid, um, I first started kindergarten in New York, upstate New York, way upstate New York, and um, I would spell my name D-A-M-N, <laughs> and that was because uh, I got my W's and my M's mixed up, so I was Dam, <laughs> was my name. So when it said Dam Girl, I thought I had to get it. Plus it's Too Faced, I love Too Faced. It's a little thick, sometimes hard to get off your eyes, but um, it's fantastic, makes you have really luscious eye eyelashes. Okay, so. So far so good. I smell that nail polish though. Um, that is a really pretty bag. I think it's kind of weird to have Celestial on a mauve bag, but whatever. Um, it's really pretty. Um, it's like a canvasy bag and it has a, um, that's so cute, a um, crystal, you know, Ipsy, um, crystal Ipsy zipper with a gold actual zipper thing. Oh God, it smells, I don't, I'm surprised I'm not, sticking my hand in anything that's broken. It smells so bad though. Um, so it's find your light is the theme, I suppose. Um, and then here's the product information there, um, aside from the nail polish and that foundation. I'm gonna go for the foundation. Oh no. Well, yeah, they're different. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this is what they sent me. Shade 0 0.3 and I bought 1.05 <laughs> I wish they would say what I thought it was like light and neutral maybe this actually says it here let's see um yeah neutral oh what an idiot so I bought light and they sent me neutral and I thought this was too dark you know let's just see right now I'm already five minutes into this you guys got time right oh I like the head of it okay so this is the neutral right here it's even kind of light, isn't it? Well, we're going into fall and summer. I'm gonna lose what little color I have now. Okay, so that is, it is kind of a wet feeling. Oh, that is not going to match me. Oh, and that's the darker one. Okay, so this isn't gonna work out. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, here's the lighter one. Shoot. I thought I was being so smart. I guess they know more than I do, huh? Um, okay, so that, oh, you know what though? Look at that. That's weird. So the light is actually lighter than the light neutral one. 
So if I, I bet, let's just mix it together. You know, well, in a couple months, I'll definitely be that color. Well, okay, I guess my, my experiment kind of worked. <laughs> um, I'll let you guys know how it works out. Um, I just finished two different um, foundations that I'll share with you guys later, and um, I'll get to working on this probably in two months, I think. I have, an, I have another one I'm working on. Um, Kula, you know, I don't think I've ever gotten a Kula thing. Kula Mineral Sun Silk Cream. I don't know. What is this, like a moisturizer? I always thought Kula was like a sunscreen thing. Of course it has a thing on it. Um, well, let's cheat again and see what it says. Kula, it is a face-to-face -face philosophy ensures that the use, they ensure that they use the freshest, most powerful organic and natural ingredients um, to use, shake it up, and then smooth all over your face in an upward motion 15 minutes before exposure to sun. And don't forget to add some to the back of your hands. So um, it is a sunscreen for your face, um, which I'll use as a primer. Um, why is my face like so red right here? Anyway, okay, next thing. Um, Carry On by IBY Beauty. Oh, it's a highlighter in Private Jet. God, I have so many highlighters. I am never, in my lifetime, I am never gonna get through all these highlighters. And my most favorite one is the Wet n Wild. It looks like a rainbow. It has like four or five different colors on one little wheel thing. That's my favorite. It's like $6 and I've used, this is my third one that I'm using right now. And yet I have all these ones and I can't open it. Okay. So, Private Jet Carry On. That's cute. Carry On. I get it. We're going to London in three weeks, so maybe I'll use that then. Oh, that's pretty. It, it looks pink, but it's not really pink. It's like a, well, it's a taupe, which is kind of pink, right? Uh, ooh, no, it doesn't come out like that. In real life, it's looking very gold. So, huh. Yeah, I like it. So I'll try to remember to take that with us. Um, okay, let's see what's this. Um, I don't know what this, this is a big thing, whatever it is. It is, I have like makeup all over my hands everywhere. I'm trying not to touch anything. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Anyhow, I know I keep promising you guys that I'm going to do a 23andMe video. I just, I, I hate 23andMe so much, I, that's why. That's why. <laughs> I don't want to like bash them the whole time and that's why I've kind of delayed in doing it. Um, and, but I know some of you are fans of theirs, so I just, that's why I'm delaying in it. But I promise I'm gonna do it. My Sunset, this computer program where I can like show you two things at once, compare directly between Ancestry and that kind of thing. But I'm just dragging my feet about it. I'm sorry for that. Um, anyway, and we're going to London next month. We're going to England next month and a couple days in London. And then um, we are going to, my grandmother is from Wales, but she uh, was grew up in, um, my paternal grandmother, my, you know, my new grandmother, grew up in England. And um, I, I get to go to where her and my grandfather got married. Um, she was a war bride. My grandfather was a, an American that married her over there during World War II. And I get to go to the church that they were married at and where my, un my great uncle was the um, altar boy. And I get to go where she worked. She worked for Winston Churchill. I can't, yeah, I'm not gonna say much more because <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to talk about that kind of stuff too much. But she worked for Winston Churchill and I get to go where she went to work for him at. Um, anyway, so. Oh, this is Ofra. Ofra, Madison Miller blush. Isn't Madison Miller like a YouTuber? Um, anyway, that is really kind of orangey, but I guess that'd be good for now, huh? Um, what am I doing? That's not where I put my blush at either. What an idiot. Okay. Well, that does look like I'm little Betty Boop, doesn't it? I don't put my blush right here. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Anyway, it's really orange. I don't know how I can show you guys that. It's really orange. Madison Miller, though, I know that name for some reason, right? Um, yes, there, hopefully you can see right there it's a little bit orange. All right, I am like covered. I look like a Jezebel. Oh God, I, I just remember I just had more on my hands. Oh, you know what? It's seven o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower. Oh my God, I look ridiculous. 
Well, now I have like lupus coming through really bad, huh? Okay, well, I am, I am shocked that this is not open, but this is a um, nat Nature's Cartel um, nail polish in the color Bros Gold, like Yo Bro kind of thing. It's a really pretty packaging though, look at that. It's probably one of those nature one, like the, yeah, cruelty free, etc. so that's good. They don't never stay on very long. Okay, there goes the problem. Yeah, it's busted. I can't even pull it out. All right, well, um, to me it looks like a rose gold. <laughs> Let me see it in there. Well, okay, so this did break. I'll let Ipsy know. Ipsy is fantastic when they come to replacing their items. They'll, they'll send a new one out, no, no big deal at all. Okay, so I got this broken nail polish. Um, I got this IBY highlighter, which is really pretty. I got this Ofra blush, which will take me 17 years to get through, if my lifetime, right? Um, I thought I was being smart and got these two um, Smashbox moisturizing studio wear 24. I will never wear 24 hours at, at a time of that. Kula, uh, I'll use it as a primer, but it's a it's a SPF moisturizing thing. Um, the Damn Girl, which is the Too Faced uh, mascara, which I'm really looking forward to using. I'm looking forward to using this, which is the um, It Bye Bye Redness. And that is it. This cute little bag. I really do like the bag. I probably won't use it. I'll save it like I do the rest of them, but. Anyway, 12 minutes into this. Thank you guys for watching. Actually, it's going to be longer than 12 minutes because I'm going to add that Target thing together with it. Um, obviously, Ipsy won this month because I got to choose what I wanted out of some of these things. And Target just kind of sucked this month, which I knew what I was getting myself into because you buy what you want when it goes live. You don't have to buy the box, but I did. Also, I did get both um, the classic and the traditional no classic and trendsetter boxes from Walmart, the beauty boxes for summer, and they so royally sucked, I didn't even want to share them with you guys. Like I just opened them up, normally I don't even open them up, but they felt really light, and it was just crap. It was like um, a couple usable things, but like nose strips to get blackheads off, which I left my son use, um, and then one razor, which is good, because the razor I had gotten from Target wasn't usable to take on on vacation, so I did get a, a razor for vacation, but otherwise it was just like, you know, the foil packets, just crap. It wasn't good at all. Um, there was very little difference between the two, so I didn't even want to bother sharing it with you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I look like Betty Boop or a little Jezebel right now. And um, I will see you guys soon. And I promise I'm going to work on the 23andMe video, I swear. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.